So thank you, Jeremiah, for your time and the possibility of being together. I want to ask you, how have uh, you faced this, this health crisis? First of all, Hong Kong experienced it the second time. 17 years ago, we have the SARS. So Hong Kong people have experienced in facing this kind of virus. And of course, this also have a kind of disadvantage. If something is really maybe overreacting, for example, going to the supermarket, have a toilet paper and buying rice and go home. And then two weeks later, a lot of rice, no problem. So no need to buy uh, too much for yourself and take it home. But one thing is really, uh, it will be a problem in the, in the first month, as I would say, is the mask. Mask is really very difficult to get or the price will become very high. But the attitude of some other countries uh, on this issue is quite different from Hong Kong or quite different from Chinese, in fact. For example, Chinese church, even in Canada, before the government say anything, Chinese churches in Vancouver already said, if you met anybody from Asia, you cannot go to church for two weeks. You need to stay home. Now, uh, mask could be bought on the street, but still the price is somewhat like triple of the ordinary price, but you can get it. The virus situation in Hong Kong, I think it will also last for another two months. But because Hong Kong have a uh, experience in facing this and people are quite obedient in uh, following the, the laws and, uh, and also people in fact will uh, watch each other. And uh, if you don't wear a mask on the bus, people will say, please wear a mask. If you don't have one, I would rather give mine to you. We are controlling the, the figure of how many people it affected or infected. Yeah, and uh, so the figure is still keep low. Although we have already a few months already, but the numbers of affected people is comparatively low. The best uh, country or area doing good is Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore. Yeah, there Thank are you, some. Yeah. So yeah. you have been uh, facing this situation for a long time already. So what do you do as a church? What is what gives you a strength and how are you coping uh, during this season? We have already stopped the physical uh, person, in-person uh, worship uh, gathering. Uh, we stopped it for, I think, six weeks already. And we already say that the whole April, we will not have in-person worship gathering. We are doing it online using Facebook Live. And uh, the three churches, because we are in a city, we are very close to the three Mennonite churches in Hong Kong. We joined together to have online worship. So each church will take turn to lead the singing and also the preaching. And this also will help that we don't need to do it every week. And, and thus, uh, it will limit uh, the uh, opportunity to be affected. Less travel, less gathering. So it helps. And we also started to use something like Zoom to do a small group meeting, uh, church meetings, and uh, even prayer meetings. It gives us some idea else we could try something new 
encouraging people to, even when situation is not favored. The Bible verse come to me is Joshua 1 9. Be strong in the law. And we, uh, we are not giving a heart of uh, a fear heart or discouraged heart because God is always with us wherever we are. Online or in person, God is still there 